We want to kind of give you a little bit of explanation of what it is and the structure that deals with it and some of the misconceptions that people may have related to carpal tunnel. So and within our wrist, within the carpal, there's eight bones. And these eight bones lined up like a jigsaw puzzle. And the amazing thing about the hand is it can do strength kind of movement as well as fine movement. And it relies on these intricate bones to kind of work in synergistically to allow the finger to and hands to move well. So you can see from the, the wrist, these eight bones are composed of very tight unity surgery where the incision is made to cut the tendon and ligaments here to open up the space for the nerve to flow well. So that's actually a oper operation that's done quite prevalently in uh, medicine to help relieve carpal tunnel symptoms. And the brachial plexus actually comes from C5 all the way to T1. So C5 is actually around this junction right here, and it goes five, six, seven, and T1. So these four level have a nerve supply that comes out like this. It goes underneath the collarbone, underneath this collarbone called clavicle, down to the arm. The problem is structures like the clavicle, the collarbone, and something called first rib, and the muscle called scalene, which is right here, these are all obstacle that causes potential compression to the nerves here. They try and fix the problem in the wrist. But if the problem actually comes from this area, just because you have surgery here and you don't fix this problem, the symptom is still gonna persist. It's called double crush syndrome. You have crushing of the nerve here, but also crushing of the nerve in the neck and shoulder. These points, these points locate from the wrist is about three finger. So another part just in between the tender on the so the third point we're going to do the lung ten is we use the percussion from the front track to your upper arm and your forearm and your wrist. The the, the nerves these things allow proper relaxation of the muscle around the shoulder region, around the side of the neck. These are very, very important. If, if the muscles are nice and relaxed, then surrounding blood vessel and nerve beneath it could actually flow better as well. This is actually M6 MLS laser. It's class four laser, robotic. And this kind of laser allows penetration of the laser ray into the tissue so your body can actually heal much, much quicker and speed your recovery. So this technology along with chiropractic care, acupuncture, grassing, laser, cupping, which Dr. Wu is going to explain, to allow the body to have a, the best chance of healing. Yeah. Simply just holding the thumb in, again, opening it up. So you're working all these pain arm muscle to allow to contract, then extend. So. These movements are not a big, big movement, but small and intricate movement enough to allow the muscles to kind of extend again to work these muscles, okay? And then open it up. Again, and then close, open it up. Again, using these muscles to help strengthen these muscles so there's a little bit more flow to the nerve into your fingers as well, okay? Holds it, he pulls it down, and then he turns his head, and then lean forward. That helps to stretch all these muscles of the side of the neck into the shoulder. A good pillow like this to support the neck, to allow the nerve and blood vessel going down their hand to function properly is essential. So some of you may be sleeping very poorly. They may actually sleep on their stomach or they don't have a good pillow that doesn't support the neck. That could cause a lot of irritation to the nerve, which causes salt. We treat carpal tunnel type of symptom all the time, right? It's a very common thing, and especially nowadays, even though people are not going to work, they're staying at home and doing this computer, and what's worse is at home, they may actually have very bad ergonomic. They may be working on a kitchen counter or a kitchen table that's not properly uh, positioned for your body. That causes the wrist to flex or extend, which causes irritation, and they may be leaning forward which causes a lot of repetitive strain type of injury. If you want to have a consultation with myself or Dr. Wu, 
uh, we're open to that. We're spending, uh, 50, we've been doing about 15 to 20 minutes of telecommunication over the phone and talking about people's history about what's going on. So we welcome that. So.